Hi and welcome to uh, my uh, setup video for Minecraft Forge. Uh, this is going to be a pretty easy setup. Uh, there's not much to it, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is check if your computer is 64-bit or 32-bit. In Windows 7 you do this by going to Start, right-click on Computer, Properties. Under System Type, it will either say your operating system type. Uh, this is done in Windows 7. Uh, if you have Windows 8, it's a little bit different, but you most likely have a 64-bit, uh, and if Windows 7, you most likely have a 32-bit operating system. If you can't figure out how many bits your operating system is, uh, download the 64-bit. If it does not work, then go back and download the 32-bit. Uh, uh, no harm done. Just a little time killed, that's all. So the next thing that you want to do is download the Java Development Kit right here. Uh, make sure you click accept, otherwise it won't let you download. And if you have Windows 64-bit, download the x64. And if you have 32-bit, then download the x86 right here. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is go to um, this site. Uh, this is Minecraft Forge. Uh, and you want to either download the latest version or the recommended version of 1.7.10. Uh, but it, either one, make sure you click the source and not the installer. The, the two different things completely, and it will bring you to a ad. And just wait the five seconds, and it should automatically start downloading once you click skip, as you can see. And then the last thing that you want to get is Eclipse Standard for uh, four point X, whatever version it is in the future. Uh, for me, I'm going to get the sixty four bit, and then click the mirror right here and it should automatically start downloading alright so go to wherever you uh, have downloaded the files to once they have finished and you're going to want to right click on Eclipse and click extract files oh I meant, I meant extract here my bad this should take a few seconds not too long um, you do not need uh, WinRER to do this. You can just use the uh, default uh, Windows extractor, but WinRER is a bit faster, and you can actually view and see the files inside the zip. For the Forge one, you want to click Extract to Forge, and then the version number right here. If you do not, then you're going to get a bunch of files outside of the folder. I'll show you. It's kind of annoying. So if I just click Extract here, you're just gonna get a bunch of files and it's gonna look messy so uh, give me one second to do all of this alright so now that you've extracted these two you want to install the Java development kit just uh, double click on the installer and it should be a pretty easy setup choose all the default options uh, do not change any of the install directories just leave them as they are um, I already have it installed, so it's removing the old version and configuring the new version. Uh, this should take about a minute. Alright, it should say accessory installed and then quick quotes and then it should be installed. Next thing that you want to do is go to where you extracted the forge and you want to go to start, type in cmd for the command prompt. You can also hit uh, the Windows key, press R, and it will bring up the screen. Type in cmd right here. So it should be like this, and just type it in. Click OK, and it will also start up the command prompt. So in here, you're going to want to type, um, you want to change your directory. So I have this installed on a different uh, disk, so I have to type capital F with the colons so it changes me to this drive right here and then you want to type CD and then wherever you extracted the, the forge is where you're going to want to change your directory to so copy you can just copy this up here and paste it into here and by pasting you have to right click and actually hit paste uh, let's make sure there's a space Not right there, right here. So now your directory is into here, and you're going to want to type in this amount of code right here. 
I'll put this in the description for you guys so that you can just copy and paste it into here and I actually have to type it out and then hit enter now this it's gonna take um, a good five or so minutes um, so just give it some time and then come back Alright, so it should say build success row at the end, and as you see, it took about a minute 30 seconds. So, the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to paste, uh, copy, and paste this into here. And this is going to set up the workspace for Eclipse. So, now everything should be set up in the Forge folder. You want to open up the Eclipse now and then open up the application and click run you can close out of this now so when Eclipse starts up it's going to ask you where you want your workspace to be so quick browse uh, you're going to want to point it to the forge folder to the Eclipse inside the forge folder so go to um, where have you saved it I have saved it in forge Eclipse okay and make sure it's the Eclipse folder inside Forge and not this one right here that's holding the application and click OK and then it should have this Minecraft uh, project folder right here when you start it up and then you're done um, as you can see you have the reference libraries and if you open up the first one Forge source this is actually all the cross files for uh, Minecraft.